Ready here for the Division 1 on the 16 League Final. Kingscourt wearing the blue, wearing the gales in their unfamiliar dark, dark blue. Of course, both colours here with clashing colours. Kingscourt line out as follows. In goal, Shea Rooney. Right full, Rory Short and full back, James Farley. Left full, Keane McArdle, son of the one and only Barry. Right half, Willie Faulkner, son of Pat. Aaron Brown, the corkman, or the semi-corkman, wears six at centre half. On the left side, Aaron McMahon. Middle of the park, Joe Dillon, son of and same name. He He's partnered by number nine, Owen Lynch. We will hold on here for around the vein and we will be back. Michael Gargan wearing 16 and playing at left three quarter is Greg Kelly top of the right Reese McAteer in the centre Finian Farley and on the left top of the left Ravi Roundtree another son of former captain of a Kingscourt championship winning team the Gales, Richie Murphy minds the house. Barry Fortune, right full, Carl Crowland full. Dan Mulligan in the left corner. Right half, Vincent Kyle, centre half and wearing six. Kevin Brady, left side, 17, I believe, is the nose. Number seven, Gary Farley. Eight, Paul Graham, partnered by Cian McLearan. Gale, or rather, Kingscott on the attack. Centre half, Brown feeds it downfield. Inside, he gets it, and it's ball breaking in. Well blocked out there by the, the Gales defender. But it's pulled on by the ground there. The keeper does well. Richie Murphy sends it back out to fullback Cronin. Long clearance, relieving clearance down the field. Down the field it comes. Willie has it. Willie has it in the right half back position. Meeting him there is the centre half. Getting it back up into the corner forward. The left footed player wearing 13. Getting it back to Faulkner. Faulkner close to the line. It's gone across the line. Unable to keep it in play there was Ryan Carey. Gales with the line ball. Going for Lent. Brown has it. Loses it. Gets it back. Commits the foul. A little bit late there. Had it and kind of just came over the top there on top of... Stephen Murray, he will be one of the danger men for the Gales. And again, the line ball going the opposite direction. Going long. Down toward Dillon. Murray has it, however. Still Murray. Line ball forced out, out across the line. Line ball, Kingscourt. The Dunery men playing towards the town. Inside. That was good defending inside there by the left corner back. Daniel Mulligan. Ball fed across field. Right three quarter has it, Kevin Johnson. He's getting her inside. All the way inside, it's going in there towards Andrew Graham. It's going to go all the way out to the left and wide. And the Gales record their first wide of this game. Bichet Rooney with the kick out. Midfield, as we said earlier, Kieran McLean and Kevin Johnson, right three quarter. Or rather, Paul Graham and Kieran McLaren, right three quarter, Kevin Johnson on the 40, Stephen Murray and on the left side, Porrick Sexton, top of the right, Keen Dunhu on the square, Alan Kelly, top of the left, Andrew Graham. Here come Kingscott, not a bad ball across the top. A little bit late in getting to that one, Gary Far is it Farley I call him? I will. Rather, Aaron McMahon. Farley's on the opposite side, the opposite number 17, or perhaps he's wearing, perhaps he's wearing 17. McMahon goes in. In across the top, ball in across the top, nudge in the backs, full back on the full forward. Opportunity here, Joe Dillon will be the taker. 
His father was centre back in the 83 Ulster final, very much a left footed player. Joe goes for score on his right foot, it will drop short, keeper off his hands, drops nicely inside there. From the corner back in there, he done well, Mulligan. Mulligan has it again, he gets it to his midfielder, McLearnan, ball cleared downfield. Here come the Gales, down the field it comes towards Graham. Graham being shadowed inside there by Rory Shorten. Graham cuts it back inside. Gets it into his wing three quarter. Sexton. Sexton plays it out to Graham. Makes a little bit of room for himself, does Graham? Plays it across field towards Murray. Murray throws it out now to McLaren. Making a little bit of room for himself. That's a fine score, is it? It is a fine score there by the big midfielder, Kieran McLaren. have to say, on average, I would say that the Gauna team are probably bigger than either of these sides. I'm only talking about physique-wise. Kingscote players dropping very far out from their goals, all out around the 50. The inside line are 50 yards out from the Gales' goals. McLaren catches high. Gales work through the hand, sent that back. Kevin Brady gives it over to his right half, Finney Kyle. Finney Coyle still has it. He's going to let her into the other midfielder, Paul Graham. Paul Graham in Dandy Graham. Now is McLeonan. McLeonan. Right footed kick. Had a jab on it there. A little hand on the back. Not enough maybe for the free. But Kevin Brady jabbed at that one. And he just didn't get the power behind it. And it leaked to the right and wide. And Shea Rooney will have his second kick out of the small parallelogram. His side trailed by a point. And right now looking very much under the cosh. In plenty of positions. Out the right side they go. Well fielded there by Oney Lynch. From Coppina. Gets her up now to McMahon. McMahon. Up towards his corner forward. It does well there to try and get that one out. Eventually has it away. Ball breaking. Mc getting a foot in. Gales free. Murray has it. Still Murray. In across the top. Free from where it lands. Wasn't really necessary. That's where the ball was going to land. Anyway, had he been fouled or not, and now it's a relatively easy chance for a left-footed kicker to tap it over the bar. Nobody really gunning for it. It looks now that this kicker will be Vincent Coyle. Fairly simple chance now to make this a two-point game, two-point to no score. Leaves it badly out to the left and wide. Wing back coming up to take a free. I don't know. Maybe he's just early jitters. But that was a fairly easy chance. And Kings could get off the hook to some extent. A unnecessary free given away. Rooney. That's not a bad ball. Out it comes towards Brown. Ball breaking. But again, Gales have it. Graham. But Brown again. Close to the line. Will he keep it in play? Line ball. Kings score, or rather Gales. Good ball in across, finds Murray. He pulls the trigger, and he sends it over the bar. I would imagine, just by the way he carries the shoulders in the, there, that he might be a brother of Niall Murray. He certainly has the engine so far in this game. Has the walk, so it's normally a genetic thing, but he certainly is the danger man here on the 40. Very good score. Tapped it over at his ease. Full marks to Paul Graham, who spotted him wide open. Dylan up. Dylan has it. Dylan going long. Across the top it goes. Full forward is going there. Full forward has it. Man has it in the prevent basket now. Finning and Farley getting her inside. Wing three quarter right out there now is Ryan Carey. Has it. Still Carey. Carey got clipped on the heels and it will be a chance here on the left foot to get the first point of the afternoon for Kingscourt. Not quite sure who will be the taker here. Again, nobody really rushing out to take it either. It's going to be all the way down to the centre back for Kingscourt. So both half backs seem to be half back on either side seem to be free taken from the left on the left leg.
studies himself. That's not going to make it. It's going to go flashing across the face of the goals. Ball full of in. Out it comes. Brown does good that time. Nice to use, use of the body. Dylan sending her in. Back inside, full forward. Fi McLeanan getting it back inside now. McLeanan getting it to Graham. Graham finds and releases his man outside. That man is Porrick Saxton. Down the field they go. Graham in the foot race here with Rory Shorten. Graham's going to win it. He'll be first there. McMahon's back in, in fairness to him, covering the space inside. In they come. A little bit nonchalant there by Kingsco. They're going for that catch. They do get it. Gargan probably should have went a little bit harder for that one. That's not a good ball. That's a terrible ball. And it's Kingscott right, and that's not a great one either. And again, that's wayward passing. In they come, foot in, out front, good defending there, unlucky by the corner back there, Cian McArdle, but he was out front there and got the boot to it, pushed it out, but it's will be a Gales line ball, 42, 43 metres out, sent into the danger area. They're bigger in there, Owen Lynch is up, but Murray comes and Murray lands it in, but it's the keeper's hands. Roonsey sends it out to Owen Lynch, Shea Rooney. Sending it downfield, Ryan Carey. Carey to Faulkner. Still Faulkner. Going far side. Not a good ball. Broken up there by the Gales corner forward. He's dropped out deep. That man out there was Keen Donahue. In across the top. Wing three quarter. Sexton is there in the foot race. But the big Kings got full back there. Having trouble bending the back. Gets the back bent in there is Jamesy Farley. Drives her down left footed. It's going to be right up McLaren's alley though. Skips through them with two Gales men, but there's still a, a third one there. And Dunner, who's back in there as the sweeper. McArdle sends McMahon. McMahon sends Brown on his way. Brown loses it. He had the chance to get rid of it. Wing back, takes the kick. Kyle, played along the carpet, through the legs of Murray, on towards Graham. Back out it comes. Paul Graham, Jersey Tug, takes the quick one. Now it's Murray, he's going to have the half chance of the goal. No, he takes the punch point, good score. Intelligence has no price. But again, that's his second point, and both times he's been released by Paul Graham with quick thinking. Quick one out to Cian McArdle. McArdle has McMahon. Takes it off McMahon. Still McMahon to wing back. Not a good ball again. Gales at the middle of the field cluttered up. Exit or advantage is played. McLeaman there and the overlap is on. Can Carey win this one? No, it's going to be left to Gary Farley. Gary Farley has it. Gary Farley's fouled. Free to the Gales. It's all Gales at this stage. They lead three points to no score and it could be more. Over Carrion. Graham forces the... Back inside, opportunity for Murray. Does the simple thing inside. Chop down, number 16. The man that wears 16, of course, is the full forward, Alan Kelly. This will make it four points to no score. Andrew Graham will be the taker. We would imagine this will be academic. Kings could just need to get a score settled down in this game. Graham converts. Aaron Brown coming out here 
Back to the ball, needs to get involved. He's a good footballer, just needs to get her going. Dylan up. Ball breaks, kept in play. McLaren goes quickly in across the top. Lynch getting a vital hand in there. Throws it out to McArdle. Does nicely there, McArdle, doing the simple things right, performing well in the corner. Good kick by McMahon. Getting the advantage there, the big full forward. Finney and Farley winning this free. They want it inside. Ball breaking. Gargan has it. Sending her in, but he's dragging her out to the right and wide. Man overlapping him there, but he elected to go solo there and just snatched at it. Now we get a Richie Murphy. This possibly was the first wide Kings could have had in this game. Four points to no score, 15 minutes gone. Not a bad kick out. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. Centre back has it. Centre back gets the free from where she lands. That's Kevin Brady. Now it's Murray. On, puts on the burners. Been chased by Lynch. Fairness Lynch doing a good job. Still Murray making a little bit of room. Send her high. Sends her to the left and wide. Keeper looking to go out to McMahon. That's exactly what he does. Nobody exactly coming looking to for the ball off him. Making him to continue with the run. Good run by Aaron McMahon. Sending a good ball in across the top. He has a man overlapping. He sends her out to the right and wide. Should have kept her on the carpet. It was a great chance, but McMahon put it in across the top. That was a chance to bring it back to the minimum score. Finian Farley not happy with himself with that one. Certainly would have liked to hit the target, but he flashed at it. He done well to win it, but he flashed at it and it went high right and slightly wide well fielded by Graham downfield not a bad ball but McMahon getting in well there Brown now doing well losing it Graham rides the challenge well Brown Aaron Brown there on a couple of occasions just a little bit of indiscipline going in a little late on that occasion. Maybe a touch frustrated with his own performance. A fine player and I expect him to just calm it down and he'll be fine. Flashed across. Good ball again by Graham. Kean Donahue. Thrown out to the right half back for the Gales. Vinnie Kyle. Sending her in on his left foot. Is it going to be a goal or is it going to be a square ball? We're going to wait and see. Graham thinks he has the goal. Square ball. McMahon. Good ball by Dillon. Going to Owen Lynch. Lynch had it, lost it. Back into Gargan. Gargan in on Farley. Farley with two men on him. Still Finney and Farley. Jersey tugged. Opportunity now for Joe Dillon. Dillon with the chance to slot her over. Should be fairly academic. He's on the, just on the diamond or the half moon, whatever you want to call it, semicircle. 
off the crossbar. Locked down again by Kean Donahue. Carey tackling hard in there. Out it comes. Gales coming out of defence. That one unlucky there. Hit the crossbar. Now are the Gales going to make them punished? Or rather punish them? This one is coming in. Owen Lynch got the advantage there. Had the jersey tugged. Gales doing well. Gives it to Faulkner. Inside to the wing or the corner forward. Reese McIntyre. He's dispossessed. Pushes in from behind. Free out Gales. Graham in across the top. That even worked out well. It was good defending. By, but that's better stuff from Aaron Brown. That's the way he can play it. That's not a great ball. It's going in there. Right down the throat to Keane Donahue. Keane gets a little nudge from Joe Dillon. And then in turn, he gives one back. That was Pat Faulkner. Treads the needle into Dillon. Dillon needs this twice to grab at it. He releases the man inside. Getting it inside is Ryan Carey. Ryan Carey sends her out to the left and wide. On the clock, we have 20 minutes. Kings could still to register a score. Out the ball comes, ball breaks. Carey there, one of the smaller Kingscott players playing with the most guts. Sent down field, foot races on, Andrew Graham. Back inside to Farley, Graham chapped it in, not a good ball. Into Owen Lynch, Owen Lynch is there. Owen Lynch does well. Tried the soccer touch there, didn't work by Michael Gargan. Here's an opportunity now. Send over the bar, good score, but it all came because of over-elaboration. And the man that kicks it over the bar, Porrick Sexton. Five points plays, no score. Rooney with the kick out. Ball breaking. Lynch gets the free. Gets it up to Gargan, taken by Dillon. Now it's back to Dillon. Getting the hand in all the time, the Gales. That's twice. Had the one chance, didn't take it. Had the second chance. McLearmore sending her out to his midfield partner, Graham. Not a good ball. Faulkner there. Unable to slow Graham's progress. Inside it comes. The two cousins there, Dylan, or rather Faulkner and McArdle, trying to hold up the progress of the Gales. Alan Kelly, inside it comes to Graham. Graham, been well shadowed there in fairness. Does he get a score? He gets a score, but he was well tackled by the right cornerback, Rory Shorten. Done everything he could do, stood him up. Graham, in fairness, turned very quickly and neatly and just sliped it over the bar. I would say Finney and Farley's probably coming to the middle of the field here to try and get a bit of a foothold. Ball chipped out to the middle of the field. Dillon does the right thing and sends it on with the fist. Finney and Farley gets the free, but again should be bending the back he was maybe foul definitely but he would have been long gone had he bent the back and picked it up and it's not just a Finney and Farley thing it's something that I noticed in all players takes the quick intelligent pass now, nonetheless but leaves it behind him hand in again by the Gales tackling well Finney and Farley loses it again back out it comes Owen Lynch Back to Owen Lynch. Sending her out far side of the field. Reese McAteer. Can he get to it? Daniel Mulligan there. 
Paul's gone out to the right and wide. Over elaboration in there by Kings Cut. Three times they were blocked. Three times they didn't do the simple things. And three times the Gales came out with the ball. Six plays, zero, 24 on the clock. Now it's Aaron Brown sending her in. Nudge in the back. Free out Gales. Unlucky there. Tried to cut that one out was Dylan. Brown now up there in a more attacking role. Gone to meet. Right. Unlucky there from Aaron Brown, but it's certainly getting more involved in the game here. It's good play, though. Kean McLearman send her in, releases Murray. Murray dips the shoulders, his legs not to go. That's not one of his better passes. Now it's Finney and Farley. Now he has a man inside. Gets it into him. Good score. First time that left for a chap. Got an opportunity and he just turned and sent her right over the bar. Reese McIntyre seems to have a sweet left stick. First chance. Didn't even have to look. Just a little pop, settle the feet, bang, point. Six players won. Lynch gone centre back. Brown gone centre field with Farley. Out she comes again. Dylan up for the climb. Dylan does well. Into the corner towards this Captain Gargan. Kevin Brady paying close attention. Gargan picks back to Carey. Still Carey loses it. Again the foot in. Back out. Well done inside. That's unselfish play. Left footed kick from Dylan. And it goes far side but... Unable to keep it in play. I thought there that Reese McIntyre would have the opportunity there to pull the trigger as he got that ball out of the ruck. Had a chance on the left foot. Didn't take it through it. Unselfishly back. Dylan a little unlucky. Left it out on the left foot. Narrowly to the left and wide. But better stuff from Kingscourt since they've rejigged in the outfit here in the last six, seven minutes. 26 gone. Kick out Richie Murphy. A Lauren Naparka, Dylan up, Dylan breaks. Still Dylan got the 1-2 there, but he dropped it there. Almost had a kick before he got it as Robbie Rountree picked it up. Breaking ball. McLearnan takes it from 1-2 from Graham. Still McLearnan goes inside. Been shadowed by McArdle inside there. Now it's back inside. Good work there by McArdle. The little things you can't teach, folks. Now Brown, a chance to attack. Still Brown. Back inside it comes into McAteer. The little nudge from behind from Mulligan wins his free. Now Joe Dillon with an opportunity. Are we going to change free takers? I think we are, folks. I think the man that will be taking it will be Ryan Carey. Sends her high, sends her to the left and sends her wide. Three scoreable frees, first half. All kicked wide by Kings. Could have had them right in the hunt. They're still not out of it. Six plays one. In fairness, the Gales missed one free where it was taken by left footer and it was left out to the left and wide. Actually, Kings could have missed four scoreable frees. One left foot, three right foot. Richie Murphy, far side of the field, has a nice flight on the ball. Sexton has a point scored, does well. Up he comes with that one across the head now and plays it to Graham. Finney and Farley's back there, not chasing back, and Ryan Carey is. In we come, and here comes Sexton looking for point number two. Played the ball far side of the field, here we come. Sent in, keeper done well. Gets it out to Owen Lynch. Owen Lynch looking for options. He's going to go long to Finney and Farley. Finney and does well there. Snaps that ball down to himself. Still Finney and Farley, but he needs players to peel off him, but his control lets him down. 
Don't know who they are, Keane. Don't know who has it. Keane, don't know who knows it, but Farley fighting back tough. Fairness to him. Here they come, the Gales again. They get the ball. Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson. Left footed kick into Murray. Lynch works hard. Murray blocks him down. No, it's not Murray. My mistake, it was Graham. Floated her in. Now it's the other Graham. Plays it across field. Opportunity here. Gales, now they've mishandled a little bit. Now it's Graham. He has a man outside him. Paul Graham. He's going to try and make a little bit of room for himself. He's going to send her high to the right and wide. And on the clock we have 29 and change. One minute to the half. We didn't have many stoppages. Keeper comes out right side. McMahon. Gales have the breaking ball. Now it's Johnson. Aaron Brown has to be very careful here. Little bit of argy pargy here. Joe Dillon doing the right thing, doing the right thing. Getting Aaron Brown right out of the rocket. Ball being thrown up. Graham does well. Finney and Farley in. Finney and Farley probably going to get into the jada for this one. And I would say when this one is kicked, it will be half time. No, he's not. Opportunity here now. Second time of asking for Finney Coyle. Sends a high. Six point game. Seven players one. Big full back does well, has the hand. Now Kyle has it. Does well, floats it down the field, but nobody waiting. Round three there. Corner back doing well. She's all half time. Big full back there. James Farley did quite well. We'll be back. Jigged here. A rejig. Kingscourt side. She's up and she's on. Dylan tried to break her down, but Graham breaks her down to McLeanan. Down towards Sexton. Sexton keeps her in play. Out in front this time will be James Farley, the goalkeeper. Into Pat Faulkner. Into Brown. Brown unable to get to it. Murray has it instead. Brown goes over on an ankle. May have taken a knock. Sent in there by 17. But well broken down there by Dillon. Dillon sends her back to Faulkner. Ryan into Ryan Carey. Walks back out for Brown. Carey. Releases Reese McAneer. Sending her high. Pulls her just to the right and wide. Not a bad ball. Has a crisp strike at the ball, has Reese McIntyre. Aaron Brown picked up a knock there. Not quite sure if it's the ankle, knee, or hand. Has appears to have the left hand for fingers strapped. Richie Murphy out down the centre. Well fielded by Dillon. Wins is free. That was old style Joe Dillon. Dillon wants the ball. He's going to be the free taker here in the second half. Had a couple of opportunities in the first half. Now one has the legs sent high and sent over the bar. Five point game. Morning. 
Richie Murphy going out far side ball breaking Paul getting it to Key and Dunhu Paul Graham that is James Farley does well getting it into Carey back inside to McIntyre now it's Brown Brown goes in long in across the heads nudge in the back chance for Dylan again Centre in high, centre straight, centre over the bar. Four point game. Kings got starting very bright. Richie Murphy again. Lob kick goes high. Carey feels it. Owen Lynch sending her in around the house. Ball breaking. Full back. Cronin does well. Getting it to Kevin Brady. He's getting it to his half back. A man who had a tremendous first half. Vincey Coyle. Advantage played by the ref as the Gales bear down on goals. In towards Andrew Graham. He's been shadowed inside by Rory Shorten. Now it's going to Murray. Murray will punch it over the bar, no doubt. Well dispossessed there by Lynch. Wins his free out. McArdle. McArdle threads the needle and finds McAteer. He's going to try and cut inside. Not always an easy thing. The way the Gales boys tackle in the first half. Loses possession, gets it back. Does well to retrieve it, in fairness to him. Wins his free eventually. Taker here will be... Sent in by McMahon. McMahon into Farley. Not quite sure what the decision will be here. Not quite sure. One player, I think, maybe Finney and Farley perhaps fell on the right half by for the Gales. Vincent Coyle. I think he's up for an OK. Paul will be throwing up. Paul Graham. Finney and Farley. Mark Liddy out there administering first aid. Farley pulls the trigger. Out to the right and wide. Once again, Richie Graham getting the boot a little bit under them here. I think he perhaps has changed tees. Dylan, small man up, but... Got the break to it, but Ryan Carey just unable to get in on, on that one. Johnson out close to the line. Been shadowed by McMahon, McManson, but Johnson turns him. Left footed kick in. High one. Graham does well. Graham going to hold her up here now. Perhaps he's going to wait on the half back to come up. That's exactly what he's going to do now. I'm not just sure if Fincy Kyle wants to take this one. He's just got quite well rattled there, and he seems to be a little ginger there perhaps down around the rib area but up, is, up he is coming that should help him send her over the bar good score to a five point game Shea Rooney out to the 20 meter line first score second half for Gale seven minutes gone
So Shea Rooney will try and send her out here. Her own Lynch is going to try and get a grip here in the middle of the park. They need a big second half from Aaron Brown. Is he up here? Aaron Brown has it indeed. He's the man that can drive at them. Nice ball head for Carey. Inside to Dillon. That's a hell of a score if it gets over it. Unlucky. That's twice he's hit the crossbar. What a score that would have been. An inspirational score. Finian Farley does well. Free in. Chance for Joe Dillon. But certainly Finian Farley fought well for that one. And it, it's just reward for what Joe Dillon had almost kicked. A tremendous score. It just hit the timber right on top of the crossbar and post. Dillon should have a fairly easy chance here of tapping this one over. Bringing it back to a four-point game. That's exactly what he does. But Finian Farley has to get full marks for... Never saying die and refusing to die on that one. A ball that he should never have got. He won it, ran at them, threw the free. Dylan converts. Four point game, eight plays four. So Kings got going well here in the second half. This 7 1 at the half. They have three points here in the second half in the relatively early going. They only got one for the entire 30 minutes of the first half. Dylan hand on the back. Free kick, Gales. Jab pass, out it goes. Graham takes it. Murray, Graham and McLaren, that seems to be the triple crown there. Out it's going to come in front of Rooney. Rooney has Faulkner. Willie has it. Willie coming downfield, looking for someone to give it to. Nobody wants to come short. The captain there, Michael Gargan, Gar does well. Now it's out to Mc McAteer. Still McAteer wins his free. In across the top. Well fielded in there by the Gales defender. Getting it to Kevin Brady, his centre half. Put the right corner back on the business there, Barry Fortune. Now it's going to be set free for the Gales. They're on the attack. A slightly unorthodox solo. And in it goes. Back out it comes. Graham has it. Back inside, Gary Farley. And he sends her over the bar. Unselfish play. Keeper a little unlucky there. But that all came from the cornerback. Very good play by Fortune. Released the ball. And just the rub of the green on that occasion. Went there with the Gales lads. Good score has to be said from Alan Kelly. But it was very unselfish play by Andrew Graham. Out far side of the field. Dylan knocks it down to Brown. Brown running at them. Inside it comes to McAteer. Richie gets it. Richie's fouled by Finney and Farley. Richie Murphy was fouled on that occasion. Ball being thrown up by a little bit of... Had his free, wasn't happy. Ball thrown up. Loses the advantage. Now it'll be Finney and Farley and Cian McLearnan, I would imagine. Back in it drops, but Cronin has it. Cronin is tackled by McLearnan, but it's McLearnan that comes back inside and wins it again. Once again, back into Fortune, does the simple thing. Kevin Brady, the centre back, threads the needle down to Johnson. Johnson being tackled by McMahon. His foul, wins his free. Takes a look at the options. Trying to do the simple thing. Racing upside is Gary Farley wearing 17. That's a high one in there towards Graham. Graham loses it. Wins it back. Been shadowed in there by Rory Shorten. Still has it. Gets the advantage. As he sent that one in there towards Graham. I don't know if they're related or not. But he got the advantage. And once again it'll be an opportunity for Vincent Coyle. To kick his second point of the second half. It's a five point game. There's 12 minutes on the clock. Kings got shown a little bit more enterprise and vigour here in the second half and they will need to show even more. 
They've had a couple of half chances at goals. They had one in the first half. It was better than a half chance. They didn't take it. That one is kicked in and is well fielded in there by Farley in the full back line. An intelligent piece of clearance, getting it outside. Blocked down though there by Andrew Graham in across the top. Graham takes the one two, plays it across the face of the goals. Full back again has it. He has a nice clearance back out now to Brown. Brown has that nice tight left footer solo. Getting it into Carey. Releases Carey. Carey back out to Dylan. He has a man. Been pulled down. Dylan took the challenge well. He had McMahon towering down, towering down on the outside, but uh, he elected to head for home. One is free. Yellow card. Sent in, sent over the bar. Dylan has kicked three points from Freeze in the second half. Four points. In the differ, still 16 to go. Murphy keeps her lower this time. It's better. McLeamore gets it. He's dispossessed. Getting it back inside to Donahue. Over carrying through that one. Don't think he could have much argument with that one. I think he might have done both. Over carried and through. Good one taken. Now it's Brown. He's going to try and cut inside, no doubt. Tugged by Kevin Brady. Dylan will have another chance. I think he might have stole a couple of metres here. Just to bring it to a three-point game. Sends her high. Sends her over the bar. Didn't even think about it. Good score. Three-point game. Nine plays six. King's got still playing the sweeper. Looks like it might be. Kean McCardle back there around his own 45. Richie Murphy. Out the kick comes. One man to the rescue, two hops, thought it might have been. Might be a little bit outside of Dylan's. Might be outside the radar, only time will tell. One thing we do know is he won't take long till he pulls the trigger. Center in high. Touched over the bar. Finney and Farley made the height. Do the business that time, nine plays seven. Man down. Raymond Kelly says no, you must continue. Is it very fortune? Well fielded by Owen Lynch. Owen Lynch out to Ryan Carey. Now it's Finney and Farley. Good defending, Cronin stood firm there, wasn't a good pass. Free out Gales. Quick one taken, Alan Kelly back into Keen McLearnan. That was an opportunity there that they had. Now it's Greg Kelly. Greg Kelly going long across the top. Don't expect Robbie Rountree to be able to get to that one. Instead it's Kevin Brady, the Gales centre half. Up it goes, now it's Johnson. 
Kings looking to lift the siege. They had a couple of chances there, Kingsford. Could this one be crucial? Faulkner there to mop up from the cousin. McArdle gets it over now. It's Kelly. Kelly looking to get it back over here. Now we're going route one football from Kingscourt. Back in it goes. Don't know who does well. Don't know who pulls on it. Not his best clearance, but it finds the desired effect. Into Cronin. Cronin to Brady. Brady cutting inside. Now it's Paul Grahams back in the game. Inside it comes now to 16 there, Gary Farley. Or rather, Alan Kelly, my mistake. Good defending there. That was a vital hand by Rory Shorten. But Graham still has it. Now it's Kelly. He's sending a dangerous ball in around the house. But James Farley's there. He's trying to get his clearance down left-footed. But only as far as Cian McLearnan. He's sending her into the corner. That's going to be very much into the corner. And it's going to be a tough one there to keep under control. It hits the flag. When it hits the flag, it's considered to be out. A line ball, Gales lining up a sub. Andrew Graham there, Rory Shorten getting to know other a little better. Sub on, Dunery, sub on, Gales. Dunery sub, Jack Shannon. Man coming off, I would say, is young Roundtree, Robbie Roundtree. Kick out comes. Here comes Murray. Murray gets the jersey tugged. He might have got a little lucky with that one. But he certainly is the man that they need to dig them out of the hole here. They're still up by two points. 19 gone in the second half. Opportunity here. I would, one would expect Andrew Graham to make this a three-point game. That's exactly what he does. Barry Fortune back in down left is the sweeper. Up they go. Two men up. McNorman and now it's into Sexton. Sexton to Graham. In across the top. Savon. Good defending. Farley, the big fullback, does well. Wins is free, coming out. Shane Clark is the man on for Kingscourt, or rather for the Gales. Pulling on that then as McLearman falls for Johnson. He's going for score, but it's going to stay out to the left and wide. But McLearman there did enough there to make that ball go downfield, got it out to Johnson. By luck of the design, it won't deny him. The ball kicked wide, but... It's vital to keep the ball down here from McGill's perspective. They're up by three. Kingscourt got it down from six points to two, but the Gale seems to have just turned the screw in the last couple of minutes. Aaron does well. Brown. Good kick by the left foot. Up to his captain. Now it's up to Carey. Driven in along the line. Free coming out. Cronin will be the taker, the full back. Not a bad intention as he goes out to Johnson Country. Kevin Johnson. Nice ball as he tries to get her in across the top. But Graham holds her well. Still Graham. Want to punch her over the bar, I would say. No, he doesn't. He goes for broke. Sticks it into the back of the net. Good score. Tremendous score there. Went for it. Thought he was going to touch it over the bar. Really, Kingscourt there should have stood him up. He got him, went on a long run there, and he went all the way. Has had a good game. Done a couple of very intelligent things early in the game. Faded for a while, but now he's just done enough, I would say, to win down the 16th league for his team. In they come. Again, Lynch does well, breaks the tackle. Carey, Faulkner. 
Line ball, line ball, Kings Court. Porrick Faulkner, the taker, goes for the shooting to Carey. Not a ball, ball inside. Gargan has it, getting a hint of Farley. Oh, he chips it, pulled on at Jack Shane, and there as he turned. Not a bad idea, Finney and Farley done well, released the ball in fairness. Pulled on it, left foot high, left and slightly wide. And I think maybe some of the missed chances early on in this game will come back to haunt Kingscourt. They were right in it. They fought hard in the second half. They're trailed by six. I don't think they're going to come back and do it. But certainly they didn't lie down. They did the typical stars thing. They fought back and they fought back with a vengeance. But they just missed too much perhaps in that first half. Well done by Owen Lynch. Now it's Dylan. Still Dylan. Dylan on the left foot and he pulls this one to the right and wide. Ball's going to be thrown up, I'd imagine, here now on the 14-yard line. It's twice a little bit of delaying. Farley, Dillon, Graham. Here comes Murray. Dips the shoulders and clears the decks as only he can. Finds Graham. Graham. Still Graham. Gone with Shane Clark. Is Shane Clark going to get it? Oh, sinister enough foul there. Greg Kelly. Nothing really that was going to cause an injury, but still he left the foot in late. And an opportunity now for Vincey Coyle. This score just came from winning the breaking ball, and who won the broken ball? The centre forward, Stephen Murray. Sent over the bar, that's the clincher. Makes it a seven point game. 25 gone, second half. Shea Rooney with the kick. Lynch wins the free. Has tried tr dreadfully, dreadfully hard. Dylan goes long range. Well done, the inside there now by McAteer. Gargan inside. Across the way it goes to McMahon. McMahon sends her high, sends it over the bar. Good score. But again, just the tackle in there was working for the advantage there. Somebody must be talking, not sure. The fullback maybe getting a speaking to her a ticking. But in fairness, a very sporting contest, I have to say. Kings got a seven points scored in the second half. They scored one in the first half. Therein lies the story. Richie Murphy with the kick out, 20 meter line. Jabs it out right side. Up goes one of our best players, Kyle. Kyle did very well, punched that one on, trying to do something different all the time. Sends her up then to Graham. Graham who sends it to McLearnan. McLearnan into Murray. Murray unselfishly inside. Back inside it comes, but again, good defending. Kyle does well, does the simple thing, and releases it. I have to say, this is better stuff from both sides. Well broken up by Fortune again. Simple thing. Foot pass Sexton. Sexton's going to go in towards Andrew Graham. Graham has it in the bread basket. Still Graham, he's going to tap it over the bar. That's exactly what he does. And we give the ball away cheaply. And that's how the Gales will punish you every time. Good board handlers work the ball well out of defence. Turn defence into attack. Bang. Kick passes. Done and does it. 27 on the clock. Quick one taken to the full back. Now it's Rory Shorten. Rory Shorten to Pat Porrick Faulkner. Jab pass up. Nobody waiting. Only the centre back. 
again. Lynch, or rather McAtee, or does it? Dylan trying to get round. Dylan is fouled. Dylan wins the free. Gone up on the overlap there was Keen McArdle. But straight down the throat there of Keen Dunhu. McArdle had made the run. Nobody had seen him. Intelligent player. Had a good first half, steady second half. McAteer tried hard there too, but it's into Johnson. Johnson in around the house. Ball breaking in. Graham inside, but again blocked down by Rory Shorten. Rory Shorten to own Lynch. Lynch has it. Foot pass goes astray. McLear on inside, going for space, but it's going to be Faulkner, I would say. Now it's Lynch. Lynch foot pass to Fortune. Fortune. I'm sure Barry Fortune would have rather the advantage in that one. Murray into Graham, giving them all the space. He will probably turn and try to slot it over the bar. Is he going for a home? Off the post. I don't know if he was trying to chip the keeper or not. Owen Lynch, big strong lad, wins that body challenge. Now it's Kyle. Still Kyle. Fortune does the right thing. Dispossesses, sets up the attack. Quick one taken, Fortune in. Does the right thing, flicks it nightly out to Brady. Sent her back. That's a fine score from Brady. Fortune last 10 minutes done three or four very nice things. Kept it very simple. Broke up the pass. Hand in. Dispossessed. 29 and change gone. Probably one, two minutes left. Sub on Gales. Number 22. Kean Mulligan. So the Gales will win this under 16. Another man on for the Gales, about to go in here, Josh McClory. Dylan not giving up the ghost. Sends her in, long ball in across the top. Block down, doubled on Richie. Go Richie Murphy down does well. Sends it out this time, left foot. McAteer may be first to it. He is. Tackled by Murray. In it comes to McArdle. McArdle send her into the danger area. In it goes. Back of the net. Own goal, I believe, actually. Doubled on by a Kingscott player. Hands up on the back of the net. I think off the legs, but I'm not quite sure. I think off the legs of Gary Farley. But no doubt the Kings cut forward will be claiming for it. It looked as if it might have been going wide. So it's 1 8 to 1 13, 5 pint game. We're into stoppage time. Andrew Graham being called ashore. Josh McClory in. Here comes Paul Graham. One 
two is on. Is he going for the two? One, two. No. Taps it over the bar. Big, strong lad. Played well. Final whistle goes. She's up and she's over. Cavan Gales are the champions. Congrats to them. Commiserations to the Dunneries.
like to thank Martin Stang, Martin and Bishop, and I'd like to thank Kingsco for a good sporting game and I wish them the best luck in the championship. Uh, three cheers for Kingsco. Hello, it's my duty as my chairman of the Gavin Youth Board to present the Thomas Lenny Cup to your call for you. Again, thank you all very much and a good night.